So we're gonna wood it on though. So you load up the Vita here and see which three will potentially be played out. Dust two. All right, mm -hmm. big fan. Mirage. All right, big fan. Nuke as well towards the end. So real quickly, Blood, can you kind of run us through this while we're about to head into game? I think Tiger is just going to be playing, uh, it sounds like a cliche, but just playing their game, right? They, they like playing Dust 2. And I personally am not a big fan of Dust 2 being your, your home map in a best of three series. But if they're feeling comfortable, I guess that's what, going to, what they're going to be going with. They are the superior team, at least on okay. paper. Just want to play with what they know. They know they can play Dust 2. Mirage a bit from Lucid Dream. That makes sense as well. It's a map there. They're pretty good on, actually, except for the fact that they lose to Beyond every single time they play on it. Can't really blame them for it. And Nuke is a map that both of them are going to be comfortable on. So looking at all the three maps, I feel... It's pretty, it's pretty even, but I agree with Mitch that it has to be uh, Tiger the favorites. I think after this game, I have to explain to Blood what quick means. We're going to drop straight Shh. into the first round here for our third game of the day. I'm sorry, Dinko. We'll get your thoughts after the first map is done and dusted. Mitch, uh, so I, I, from what I heard, you're going towards Tiger, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think Lucid Dream, of, uh, they've, I've run out of faith in them really at this point. Uh, what I will say is they play very well on this map, you know, 16-14 loss to Beyond, 16-12 to Invictus. They definitely have a chance. If Tiger come in, not looking on their A game, I think Lucid could very well take this series. I just, I have to think about it. If I'm the coach of this team, if I'm the manager, I'm getting these guys in the server after every single game they've had and be like, all right, listen, we need, we need to fix that. And hopefully they've looked over their, their games over the past couple of days gotten into a, a situation where they're not the team that we've been seeing so far. I mean, that loss versus Divine Vendetta yesterday was crushing. We'll see what they can do here. Dust 2, Mirage, Puggy Maps, give Lucid Dream. I mean, I think that changes it a little bit more because that gives them a really good advantage in taking the individual fight, 7, 8, 9. He's been impressive all tournament long, really warmed up in the last two or three games. And a double opening for him on a long but that still leaves tiger with control over the bomb site and the ability to plant if they can just avoid the headshot jumping over that little wall well some damage being showed off ptc down to 13 leaves gonna charge in forward he's gonna be decimated though by dobu and cl gets a double and well if there was an advantage for lucid dream i definitely didn't feel it there or quick kills coming through sure. in the matter of a second and that will be tiger taking the pistol yeah, very well handled. A nice little approach from them going in, getting to the site. You can see how cautious they were as well of moving over to the site itself. The bomb the bomb carrier got up close to ramp, but just sat there for a minute until his teammates were close by so they could all swing up and take the fight to the players on short. Obviously, they realized that if you just, you know, jump over and try to get the bomb down as fast as you can, you're probably going to be caught on your way. Urkast has taken a pretty big risk playing on the corner. I presume there's a flash there. Yeah, 789 has a flash. Which he can lob around if they were to take contact. They haven't spotted anyone just yet. Urkast moves forward. Here comes the flashbang pretty soon. The swing. Oh. I mean, that was the chance to find a kill. Uh, apparently, apparently 789 doesn't care. Right? They, they don't get it with the flashbang. So he just comes in. He's like, oh, I'll do it myself then. Kills both of them with a USP. Ah, it's ridiculous. Well... Only two players left alive, at least the Galil rescue. Dobu's just waiting for them. And honestly, Dobu's trying to, I think, redeem himself uh, for some of the points in the tournament. Again, he came out of the gate swinging. He gets a four kill here. And he's kind of quieted down, unfortunately. I think it's been more about Eric Kass having to be the one to step up for his team. But they get the 2 0 start. Dobu's on five kills total. We're going to the bat now for Lucid Dream. They got the M4s, they're getting ready to go. I think for me, it's about them having a solid round here. To show us how much they can really do when it comes to this map. Because they don't want to lose another game. Again, this is one of the teams who's kind of in the bottom three at the moment. Them, Mazalai, Bren. All fighting for their chance to get into the playoffs. And if you just get into the playoffs, you do get a minimum of points, right? You get 1,300. So you at least get something and you get money. That's all right. You gotta, you gotta get the extra cash, get the extra or more points. I mean, really, if you're, uh, unless you're a Tylo Avicii, um, even the Tiger, if you're going out in the early stages of the playoffs, you're not really going to be in contention for that major spot. I mean, like this basically set this tournament sets up which two, maybe four teams, depending on how it goes, are actually going to be fighting for it in fall. If you don't do the work now, recovering it over then is just way too difficult. And even as we said, for teams like Lucid Dream, it's very unlikely that even if they do manage to win, that they'll follow through and take the, um, On that take note, the crown because they need to win both. 
I mean, Lucid Dream did have 1150 RMR points from yeah. the Road to Rio, but they lost it all, obviously, because they did change around three players in the roster. And that's unfortunate because, again, like that puts them still in contention. If they get, you know, three to playoffs here, that's like 2.4K points you're on at a base. First point for this event is only 2K. And you're really not that far behind other top teams that are that will be sitting even, you know, more pretty. Here we go, pushing towards the A site. Completely smoking, Molotov and off, flashing everything over towards A. There's going to be a player towards that's John Olsen. Dobu goes for the challenge. Dobu, well, he's going to get the kill. He's even looking for a second. Almost catches that 7 8, 9 but The bomb will get planted, and the man advantage still in the hand of Tiger. It was firmly within their grasp, and after the trades, it still is. Cabal looks to pull it even further, even finishing Leaf, to put that 3-0 on the board. Tiger in a nice spot early on. They're winning out the buy rounds. They're looking good with the pistol. Ooh. I'm scared. I'm scared. What's happening? Like, watch oh, hey. Ooh, hey, we're in, the, nice. we're in the game. Hi, so everybody. Sick. I Mitch, mean, Jason... you look terrible in Dust 2. I look phenomenal, <laughs> though. You were asking this. for us to be on Vertigo the whole time, so the, the guys have, have like brought us it. something special. I like it. This is it. actually our, our little uh, broadcast center, you know? Yeah, yeah. This is actually where we're watching the game from. Oh, my God. PGL <laughs> elevating production here for all the other companies out there. But I bet we look horrible in 4K, I must say. <laughs> Are you really bad enough oh, in real life? Yeah, Poor depend YouTube on that viewers. 1080p to you know kind of calm it down a bit. Gotta smooth out some angles. I, I, I kind of wish now we can like get Bled and Dinko just randomly shot on the map too during all this. <laughs> just like randomly there. Bled just eating a sandwich. No, just, just turns get, up. He's just sitting on his couch, legs up, you know, chilling. <laughs> You know, he's like a fan. Oh, oh good nade. That was pretty high up as well. I know John Olsen was very low in HP. And let's be realistic, though. You've already got a lot of damage done by Lucid Dream. They're looking for, what, one one more kill? They'll be happy? Save the AK? So Fox is a Fox is a Mac 10 and a Deagle. They have money to buy up in the next round. So it's one of those hard decisions. I think he's making the right move, playing exits. And he's going to get an opportunity. Two players are low. One hit to his Deagle. It's waiting for them to move on out. They're coming through the tunnels. Nine is the one coming around with the M4 and CL. Rushing. They've made it into T spawn. Don't die to the bomb. Oh, I yeah, knew it. I was I was thinking he left that way too long. I thought he was gonna peek as they ran towards the spawn, not try to hunt them down afterwards. I don't know what to say to that. Help me, Mitch. What? Just a complete... See, I guess he didn't know exactly where the bomb was planted, hoped it was backside, and maybe he'd survive on 12 HP. It, it can be very difficult, especially if you don't know where it's planted, to know how much damage you're going to take. I mean, how many times have you been in the spot that he's in? The exact position. And had, uh... You know, the, the, you just don't know how much health he'll lose. I still think I mean, he does. I mean, you should have a better you're chance. a mathematician, right? I've, I Tiger don't know really the need four rounds to close out the game. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Screw you, Jason. <laughs> Do it one time. I'll never forget now. Yeah, uh, I'll have my calculator out and ready to go next time. So, with Tiger only two rounds away from victory, uh, or something like that. Lucid, I mean, they, they get one kill there on the side, but they needed a little bit more. Now into a 4v3, and retaking B is always just way too difficult. The utility is also very much in supply for, for a Tiger, so they can keep them out with the smokes with the mollies. It has to be a save, realistically. Yeah, Especially I mean, with an op as well, it's even worse. Well, they had double op, so uh, they lost that one. I think that's going to be yeah picked up by nine, it seems. And not a good start. I mean, again, I'm just sitting here like, all right, it's only 5-0. We saw an 8-1 lead for Invictus, and they lost the map. Who knows what a 5-0 lead means? But again, these have been pretty dominating. They haven't been halted on, on either of these bomb sites. You know, the, the bombardment of utility thrown in when they went towards short to hit A. This time, in straight in towards the B site. I will say, though, I am starting to worry for Lucid Dream. Because this, again, is a map that you can excel at individually. Very puggy. And yet, we're not seeing anyone start to. But it is early times. One more time, Lucid Dream are going to celebrate, oh yeah, all night. 
if they can just get that round on the board. 5-0 is not that bad. Then you go down, you lose the pistol, first buy, you're already here. Well, PTC being 0-4, though, that's that's going to stand out for me because he, he has been the, definitely the star within the team. I mean, yeah, he's only had one mm -hmm. round with the op. That's fine. And, and he, was towards, he was towards A long, right? Yeah. They pushed into B. What, what can he do, you know? You're not really going to be playing the retake on B with that AWP. We want to see some impact from him in this round. Uh, I think really the onus of the previous was just on the, the B holders. I wouldn't put any pressure on PTC to have to perform, but he's gone towards mid. A solo hold on B. PTC middle, a rush out long. Molotov almost taking the kill, but 789 last hits Dobu. But hold on. What's happening here? Nine and NCL answer back with both kills. Fox and 789 dead. And on the back of that, we saw Leaf just run away to the side. He's boosting up PTC, or sorry, John Olsen, as PTC remains on short. That's the control that they'll look to maintain, giving up long completely. This is, uh, it's not the ideal start to the round. Luckily, Tiger took a while. Even with the smoke on the corner, they didn't push forward to take care of Pit. So they're a little bit slow in getting that control up long. It's allowed John Olsen to get in position on mid so he can cover PTC who's just watching tunnels. Obviously, they're not going to get anything for that, but it's a nice little setup to have. They're still holding to B as well, suspecting it could be a fake. I think eventually, though, you're going to realize this is an A stack. As soon as John Olsen sees some utility, that'll be the rotate through, but they'll have to play. Oh, he's going all the way to site. He's going to be isolated now. There's the flash, and I think he realizes he can't really do anything about this. PTC has to come and help him. Molly going towards him. That's John Olsen dead. Surely. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It does well to get one. The timing was just terrible that he got stuck out in the open on short. Oh, that's... Hmm. <clears throat> what happened? Nothing happened. <laughs> He'd see and leave trying to go for the retake. I, I would almost imagine you just have to save. I mean, the bomb could be planted towards long. You don't have anyone there. You know there's an op on the other side. Nine's going to be the one sitting there watching it. I think he missed a shot, if I'm not mistaken. Eventually comes in, takes Leaf out. Now the one on two. Aircast will finish off PTC, and the 6 0 will now come to life here for Tiger. PTC still on zero kills, but again, was it in a position to even help, anyways? That long battle really defined the round, plus Tiger playing so slowly in regaining the control, then stacking up. I mean, they stood up. Walked all the way up long to the CT cross and just stood there for a couple seconds, caught their breath, and then went forward. They were really proactive in clearing out the likes of the Molotovs. I think that they did absolutely everything right. This is definitely a much cleaner Tiger than what we saw before, but it's only, it's very early round. And they're getting a couple of early duels, like that double opening on long. That, I mean, it's very hard to have those kind of clean rounds if you're not given those kind of opportunities if you don't hit those six shots look at what's happening to them now they've lost ncl urcast is stuck out on long inside of smoke flash goes over there's one kill and he gets away okay i'll take that i thought he was going to be dead because there were three players there but the flash was perfect oh leaf pushing for information dobe is not going to get the kill leaf secures at 19 hp remain as he does get Extremely low on HP, as well as Fox taking an air cast. So now it's going to be the four on two. So good utility, good health on the T side. Fox is going to be holding up close here. I don't know if Cabal's going to expect this, but he's actually going to be fading away, and Cabal's definitely going to be peeking at this angle as he looks to come around. So I would assume so, but Fox is going to back off. Nine's been able to cause a distraction. Cabal should be able to push out now. So hesitant, though, in nine. I mean, this is a very risky play. You have an op. You're pushing by yourself. Flashbang's going to come through. He'll be shot at. He'll be cleaned up in Cabal. A little bit late out the doors. 20 seconds left. Yeah, you should just... I think you should just be saving. Or not. Is this the comeback, Mitch? <laughs> you love calling stuff early, Jason, don't you? <laughs> they get one round. It's the comeback. I can feel it. Well, I, I asked, is it the comeback? I didn't say it is. Well, I, I don't think I'd, I'd be considering that question just yet, but there is a chance for sure. 
again, it comes into what, what I was saying about a tiger finding those early openings. Once you have success in the early round, it is um, much easier to close those out than it is to come in to the next and convert that naturally. But it's in locating those gems. And we, we discussed it earlier that opening duels, advantageous map control. You kill someone and you get a bit of control as well. Like what we just saw there. Did what they just had? It's gold dust. You don't get it every single round. But when you find it, you need to convert. And you know Lucid Dream are going to try something to get back into it. They're behind. They're lacking information. And at the moment, they're turtling. They're just playing, each player covering their angles and hoping to find those individual fights. They've left short completely open. Tiger have such a great read on that. Realizing that with the smokes that they threw down, with the utility they used on mid, the B players would be calling that it could be mid to B. On the back of that, the rotate comes down from John Olsen to play in CT, so he can get above the smokes and try to do some damage. But when they fade, they realize there's no tigers here. The wildlife is completely gone. They've escaped and they're moving towards the A site. There's the smokes on the cross to stop an op at the car from doing anything to them. The molly's on the back of the site and they're guaranteed now that it's only on the bomb site itself or on long that they've got to worry about. This should be a nice clean bomb plant and a five versus four and a difficult retake for Lucid Dream considering it's planted for short and all the control remains for Tiger. The one upside is that not all their utility is being used up, but they didn't have a whole stack of it coming into that last minute anyways. So there's a molly, a nade, a flash, and a smoke. One of everything. They're already saving though. Mm -hmm. They've given up. And I can respect that. Again, their money is going to be hurting. 789 will catch out one. Yeah, I mean, this is smart play. You go for the save. You're going to lose this round. If you lost this round and lost all your weapons, then you're losing the next round most likely. So at least they give themselves a chance to get a second on the board next. And Meath maybe looking for a shot with the op. But Air Cash is going to play this one safe. So, again, Tiger up 7-1. Lose the dream. A chance to bounce back. Fox can buy up himself. It's really not that bad of a round for Lucid Dream. Yeah, I mean, look, they didn't get punished massively for losing it, right? But I think this is uh, this is great to see. Exactly what I was hoping for coming into this series, the Tiger would look much cleaner. You can see they're giving massive respect to their opponents. They're treating this like they're playing one of the top 20 teams. They're coming in. It, even the way they took the A site. They first took the middle control, dragged the rotate down, left A open. Then they molly the back site just in case. And Goose, they smoke off cross so the op can't get them. Like, everything was done so perfectly there. And a great setup yet again. The player in the box and on short back off on the flashbang. And then managed to trade NCL afterwards. Flash around the corner to pull seven off, but he still wins that fight. As he swings back around and a man advantage finally obtained. But look at how difficult Tiger are making it for Lucid Dream. The previous series, there were points where that myself and yourself were casting, so the first one of today, there were points where we were saying, like, look, one at a time, one at a time. It's just every single duel was a 1v1, but not here, with the exception of what we just saw from Urcast. That was a little bit disjointed and pushing into the site. That gave 789 the ability to fall back and look for a little bit more. He's already got three kills on the board. He's spraying away in two senses. And the bomb <laughs> retrieved with 789 too quick on the op. Seven to two, they go. Seven eight nine gets four kills that round. Individual moments of brilliance, and obviously keeps them on the scorecard with their second. We're still seeing the buyout come in for Tiger, and this is one of their last buy rounds that they're going to have cleanly. They lose this, they're going to be on the eco, and Lucid Dream can really start to to grind away these rounds. A double op for PTC and for Leaf. Oh, they're going to boost over the smoke. Flashbang comes through, might force them off the angle. Been looking to rush up towards short. PDC's definitely been spotted out now. And John Olsen now playing for the position 789 was from before. The flash comes through, doesn't really catch him. Peeks around the side, still challenging out on this. And he does more damage than he takes, but he has to give up the ground. Oh, PTC's falling in mid too. Now, if you're Leaf, how do you defend this with just an all? They have a smoke for the, the push in towards B for the split. He's actually left the B site. To me, this almost says if they get in towards B and Leaf doesn't get a kill, they're almost just going to save again. 
And they're just leaving NCL to defend. Oh my god, he almost shot his own teammate, I feel like. Oh wow, look at this. The openings. Absolutely shredding player after player. Locking Leaf out. The AWP down the ramp again. I think they're forced into saving. Not being able to find consecutive rounds is going to hurt, and not being able to save the AWP even more so. 789 moves in towards short. He might be able to get down there and save the AWP afterwards. Oh, Nine's taking it. I'm, I'm guessing he's just going to chuck that. I would hope so. I imagine we're going to see double op on the T side. <laughs> That'd be something. Yeah, we do the talk about meta. double ops on Dust 2, but I don't think uh, attacking. So, yeah, Cabal drops it. Fair enough. Wuss. Come on. <laughs> Break the meta. Five Break ops. Let's go. I mean, it's not like Tiger can afford to have five ops. Like, their money is actually pretty, pretty bad considering an 8 to 2 lead. And we mentioned before, those first five rounds can be very difficult to build up any cash in. It's after that that you need to uh, start to really focus on it. Uh, from that point, it's pretty much been back and forth, right? So I think we're... We're seeing an impact, certainly, to the terrorist economy. Even reinvesting here leaves NCL quite low. So it's not like Lucid Dream are completely locked out. If they can find two buy rounds in a row, they'll get a reward for it. And put, pop themselves up on five. That's already decent. The problem is connecting those. There's a three-man stack on... Oh, no! Dobu! A double spray down! Leaf and Fox die! They know Cabal's here. They've spotted him just a second ago. They just smoke it off and leave. Content with the fact that they've lost the, they, those opening duels. They, they, force it further. they know there's three there at B because they're all tough mm -hmm. thrown in. So they can just rush straight in towards the A site with three players. Worst case, yeah. there's two there. They had no op from the last round. Oh, oh, ADC. I'll be a little bit careful there, but smart play, smart rotate out of Tiger, except John Olsen's been able to fight back. Gets one kill from short. Will be flanked out on, so he's have to pick up the pace in nine. He's going to cover off his teammates. The NCL and ADC wants to round the corner. He gets caught looking the wrong way. ADC responds, and NCL now gets John Olsen. It's down to the one on two, and PTC has no HP. Going to push through the smoke, and this should be a clean kill for Tiger. He's not even looking the right way. But can they run back and pick up the op? I don't think so. Is this a pistol force up out of Lucid now? You got PTC on 5300. They might be conceding a 10th round already, Mitch. This must have been insane out of Dobu. Oh, the spray transfer no, was like, fantastic. He's almost good for that third. And yeah, I, for Tiger, this is... Very different to how I recall seeing them play at all this tournament against any opponents. I mean, yeah, I'm mentioning how obviously they've lost some games they definitely shouldn't have. Oh, wow. He's out, he's out on B already. He's just running out. Cabal's playing a bit of a wild game. I think that's more uh, with the norm of Tiger. Oh, the swing from Dobu. Okay. And Molly did keep the player back. He was being flanked out, but just dodged the shots and Dobu. A 4K as he stays alive against all odds. He could be getting the ace here. Seven's coming behind as well. He checks it. There you go. Beautiful. I mean, look, it was only against pistols, and he probably shouldn't have been in that spot in the first place, but still, <laughs> he made it work. I love how the rest of his team's like, you got this. We're going we're gonna to go over <laughs> yeah. here, and we're going to go plant the bomb. Uh, we'll let you take care of this for us. You can see the problem there, though, for Tiger. If he dies, they get two AKs, and that's already a great round considering the investment. He did sit, look at that. What a whiff by PTC. Yeah, P I mean, PTC really messed that up. He had, what, four shots with a deagle from behind? Didn't even tag him. Oh, this is aggressive. Eric has to take a ton of damage. I'm assuming they know 789 is here, but Fox covering with op. It's over towards Carr. Easily can be mollied out of this, and he doesn't have a smoke to get himself free. 789's going to have to push up away from this. Nade comes in as well. He's down to 45 health. And that smoke's going to fade. He's going to lose his cover. I don't know if Tiger not backed away from this. I'm going to say, they're really sticking around for a long time. They really want this position. 
Oh yeah, they're they are hard committing to it, giving up all control elsewhere. You can see that Cabal's a little bit passive, just watching for the flank coming through T-spawn. Starting to move up. I mean, they're going to get a reward for it, right? These CTs oh, have my. completely left the area. Dobu, did he spot the barrel? He must have. He clearly suspects the player to be behind this box. There's the back. There's the head. And a free kill. Oh, Dobu. a second as well. And how angry is 789 right now? Having just left that position, the timing was perfect. Or maybe even Fox will be the one raging because he just got shot in the back. And he was probably scoped in as well. Didn't realize Long was as wide open as it was. Oh, no. Dobu's playing insane. 18 mm -hmm. kills. He had an ace last round, three kills this round, a quad kill in a round before this, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because he went like he went up to five kills. Insane. Yeah. He's had now three two plus kill rounds. One of them was an ace, one was a quad kill, and one's a trip kill. This is gonna be eleven. And I don't know what Lucid Dream is going to have for next round. They spotted him? No. I thought Dobu had seen him. Oh, that was going to be the quad, but unfortunately not. Leaf gets a nice little upgrade to an AK. And that will be the end of the round. But, I mean, at this point, I feel like Lucid Dream could have five AKs. Five ops. They could pick whatever they want. But Tiger are dominating them. 11-2. to two. Diga likes to bring up Zonix 11-4 being a bit of a, a deceiving rather uh, scoreline but lucid dream might not might not even make it to four the way things are going again quick take towards long no fear dobu gonna lead the way he gone very aggressive in towards middle of the mitch i'm not sure if this is gonna be expected eric house he's gonna be watching for he takes ptc down the ak that was rescued by leaf and donated over to him netting absolute nothing or some damage Onto Eric Cast. At least I'll give him that. Oh. Now he's just like, yeah, come on. Peek me again. Come back. Looks like they're not into that. They're not looking to get aggressive on the A side because they're already doing that on B. You can see Fox and Leaf have pushed all the way up into tunnels. They're thinking about going to T spawn. If they do, they might catch all three T's off guard, but instead they go to tunnels. They're going down lower to middle, and that's going to make a wide open push for Tiger possible. They can just walk on in to this B bomb site as Lucid move through middle and see that it's clear. They might think that they've got them outplayed. They might think all the T's are stuck in long. And matter of fact, if Nine starts to make some noise, if he throws this smoke out, there's the smokes. They're going out on A. That cross should drag Leaf back. The timing oh, is so ho, ho, good. Ho, ho, ho. What a strap by Tiger. Look at this. Lucid think we've got them. They've gone all five long. They've given up control. The noobs. We're going to absolutely stomp them. And then they catch nine on the way back. A tech nine out looking to take them down. He's spamming away. He's finding some damage. If he gets a kill or two, that's perfect. Both players about to peek around. Misses the shot. Okay. But the bomb is down on B. And now, Lucid start to realize their mistake. Although they're picking off all the kills along their way, Cabal manages to return another straight down middle. And again, really in a position where they'd like to save. With that AWP especially, if Cabal finds this kill, they will save. And he does. That's the round. Absolutely beautiful by Tiger. You know, obviously the fake they threw towards a... Worked out so well and was awesome to see. But a lot of that round, as we saw, just came down to just milliseconds. If they hold that angle a little bit longer towards B in tunnels, maybe it would have taken one down. Who knows? Maybe two. But more importantly, they would have seen the bomb going B. But I don't know at the same rate if that would have changed the fate, Mitch. Because you still had two players towards long who could just flank them when they rotated over. And of course, Aircast just being ready for anything, watching the push in towards middle. That's the first time they've done that. And yet he held, or he holds it. Hey, they went around auto snipers. Oof, damage to PTC. Ball still has his. Oh, wow. The auto sniper straight through the smoke just as the player emerged. John Olsen having already been tagged is taken down as well. Up close and personal, NCL to another. And that long control has not quite gone the way they wanted i think it's fair to say and maybe they get some nade damage off of it 
There you go. Good 10 damage done. PTC through for more. Gets one. But look, there's too many players around. They're all watching for that sort of a play. And with Leaf being around here, and I think he might have fired off a minute ago. Oh, he's in the molly. He was dead to it, but he got spammed anyways. 13-2. My God, Jason. Well, I'm very glad we broke the rule that we made yesterday, where we said we weren't going to favor Tiger in any game. <laughs> I'm happy we didn't stick with that. You know, what I will say is that maybe, just maybe Tiger wasn't really worried about showing up in the group stage. I think they figured we can get by just, just based off of our, our, our raw skill, right? And then maybe they're worried about peaking later on the tournament, you know? Because they, they can assume they're going to get through, though, uh, you know, we're a little bit worried at some points. But then just obviously put the full work into when you get into the playoffs. Maybe that's kind of the strategy going well, for them. Maybe we can't count them out. Yeah, that was something I brought up before, right? That maybe that was going to be something that teams came in with. Like, you don't want to give away your full strats, even down to what maps you like to play. You might start picking a little bit differently here or maybe you have a curveball right maybe you've for example worked on vertigo for the last two months then you might come in here and ban it first every time so teams think you'll ban it then you get it through to the pick stage stuff like that can always happen in group stages especially nine round round robins if it's the standard if we're in swiss system for example there's four teams in a group two go through kind of thing you're not going to see teams hold anything back because at yeah. that point it's very risky, you know? If you play this game loose and lose it, well, you've got to win your next two or you're out. Uh, but in, an, in a round-robin format, that's where these mind games can actually start to prop up. And I guess we got to take that into consideration for sure. Oh, big rush. In towards short. And yeah, now he's not going to survive that because he gets pushed from long at the exact same moment. Dobu will eventually get one, though, from CT. Need much more than this, though. They have the flashbang and event seal to help them re-engage into the site they even have a kit on ncl a three on four lucid dream shouldn't be losing this round they shouldn't but they almost did very nearly uh, very quick kills coming back from john and seven 13 to three now yeah, we're, we're looking at a position where i mean i don't know about you jason but we always talk about those two, how comebacks can happen from more or less any scoreline. You, know, it, you can see an 8, 7, 9, 6, half, whichever, going to whichever team, whichever side, and it can still come all the way back. But this time, I don't know about that. I don't I don't quite believe. <laughs> Are you trying to jinx it? They've got double scouts. They got triple well, scouts. They, they have triple scouts. They double peaked mid with scouts, then went back over towards the A side. Is that a... Cabal's holding with a scout on B. I haven't seen that. Usually you're talking A long and mid, but I guess they have A long and mid plus B. Interesting. And what do they got uh, to lose? They're up by 10 rounds. Mm -hmm. Very true. Very, this where you innovate, I guess. I'll I, say I, that for you in case you were going to talk about it. I want to make sure you got the right number. <laughs> God damn it. And now just seven rounds away from winning. It's Tiger <laughs> looking pretty <laughs> I hope this doesn't become my thing. Mitch can't add. Oh, that oh. was way too close. That's oh, well, still as close. That, that could have been completely different. That should have been completely different. He had two free shots. Yeah, it definitely felt like that was... Uh, oh. Whoa, hold on. It might not be over. Still double scouts on the retake. John Olsen took that in a close angle. Very difficult to deal with. Adobu's going to have to be the one that wins that fight. And you can see that 789 is on his way up close. That means he's out in the open, though. That means the scouts can actually do some serious damage to him. But John Olsen, he's cleaning them up. Absolutely wiping the floor. Deagle comes out, spamming away. Good damage. Good shot afterwards as well. Nine. Looking to do a little bit more down below. The no scope on the scout misses. Uh, even if the bomb blows up, 789 is good. I was just waiting to, to see if it actually did explode. 13 to 4. And an eco for Tiger. That's Lucid Dream to 5. Uh, the more important question, really, or the important question, isn't more so are they going to win it? It's how many players are they going to survive with? I mean, they've got two SMGs. It's the chance to earn some money. And they desperately need to do that. 
I mean, that was super expensive, though. Lucid. Mm -hmm. Trying to rebuy up to a K to see the Mac 10s as well to join in with this. They're going for a big five man stock towards B. I mean, this, as long as Lucy continue going this route towards A, this will be their round. You can see a Tiger meet. They can start to rotate back. And funny enough, it's not like Lucy have gained any ground off of this either. They're still waiting for the push. They're just holding towards long. And well, now Tiger's been able to rotate back and be here perfectly in time for this. They got the stack at the right site. Uh oh. Well, I was talking about a money maker. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is that John Olsen's contributing there with the two kills. Really, you want the Mac 10 to get them all. I think Cabal thought he had a uh, a barrel extension on that Zeus. Not quite. It is very misleading how close you have to be. I, I don't think he'd be confused about that close. That that was a really nice transition. It just completely messes with your head sometimes when you go from like the CT spawn and a perfect swing through to T. I'm like, wait, how is this map formatted? So I've been playing this game for so many years, but my, my brain's still broken. I remember talking to uh, Tom about this. You ever played Dust? Would well, you ever play 1.6? You probably didn't. You were probably too young. No, I'm too young. I'm too young. Okay. There, there's a map called Dust 3. You, I'm assuming you played oh. Dust 1, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a combination of all like the key marks, the landmarks of Dust 1 and 2 in, in oh, a map. No. It's just confusing. So there's like a big tunnel system. There's a big like underground, but there's also like an A site. Like the tunnel system leads towards B. And like, I think there's an underground that leads towards A partially or something. It was super weird. I mean, it wasn't a competitive map, but it was uh, still pretty cool. I've been playing Pavlov on the uh, CSGO maps. It's so cool. To just play in VR, like walk around actual Dust 2, actual Mirage, shoot people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's copyright infringement, okay. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, I'll get back to that in a second actually, because there's, there's a funny story about oh, it. Oh, okay. Oh, well. No, what a shit. Maybe I'll get back to it sooner than I thought. Oh my god. Just his head on a, on a swivel. Mm hmm. They knew where he was walking out of tunnels as well. He's just too quick for them. So I, I used to cast uh, some VR games uh, mm -hmm. for the VR League. VR League, yeah. And we had a game called Onward, which is like more oh, yeah. of like Arma in VR. Yeah, I know. Uh, cool thing about that was, actually there's a ton of cool things about that game, but obviously a lot of people in the community wanted Pavlov, but because it's the exact same map as CS, they can't use that because Valve can just sue them. Oh, okay. They well, actually even sense, yeah. they, The thing is, they originally were named like Dust2 and stuff. They changed the names in Pavlov. Yeah, because there's of still that. community maps that are just like does two and whatever. But I guess yeah. that's not that's not on the developers. That's on the individuals using it. So I, I presume it's under like fair use. It's their own little servers. Yeah, the cool thing in Onward actually was uh, you could like you could only talk via radio. There was no like voice comm system. All right. In the game, so you would actually have to like take your hand off your gun, hit your radio. Sometimes you would grab your knife and stab yourself in the neck. It legitimately happened in one of the matches <laughs> I was casting. He killed himself on accident. <laughs> But when you call oh, to them, God. people around you can hear you. It's proximity communication. Oh, so when okay. you talk to the person, people around you can hear hear you. And then also people around the person you're talking to can hear you oh, because God. of their radio. So you could actually spoil and ruin people's chances of like being sneaky or let <laughs> the enemies sure. know where your teammate is because of that. So what they I used to say... communicate through like Morse code a little bit with like clicking. What I'll say is that that, that doesn't make too much sense in that they can hear your radio because you, in real life, you'd have an earpiece plugged in. Yeah, it's not an earpiece. It's uh, it's yeah. like a police radio. Yeah, good. But in um in uh, when we used to go, when I used to go airsoft as a kid, we would have as well. I I didn't have them. They're too expensive. But you'd have like the, the proper you know radios. You click the police kind of ones. But then you'd have there's an earphone slot. You plug that in and put one one earphone in, so people could talk to and you. And then you get a shot in the ear and it gets lodged in the ear forever. And you oh go down. God, yeah. We're seeing I the think, push towards. Thinking about that. <laughs> Dobu, aircast. They're going to leave one player in towards mid. It's going to be Leaf, but they might need the reinforces on site. Eric has had them lined up. They will clear them out. That's all in the Cabal, and he's going to be caught on the cross. And while the combat starting to come here for Lucid Dream, Tiger, three players who can buy, probably just going to see the pistols. Might not be over just yet. I mean, PTC's on six kills. This is the man we, we saw the last few days be the one to stand out. Or his team, the one to, to top frag and to be the big impact player, and yet he's 
Just having a rough go here. Oh. Good connection, unfortunately, only against the pistol, so realistically, Tiger should be getting nothing done, you would hope. Again, it comes down to the question of how many players can Lucid Dream survive with. Even two kills can actually set Tiger up in a pretty good spot where that'll be all the money reinvested um, into weapons, armor, utility. There's one already. Oh no, Urkas didn't quite think the Molotov was that far spread. Cabal's got the Deagle. I would chuck that at NCL real quick because he's only got 11 health. I guess maybe the one-shot headshot could be useful if he plays backside especially, or, or car where we can see him going. Just hoping 9 doesn't peek out. That Molotov on short gets him a little bit antsy. And he's seen crossing over to the B side. I think it's unlikely at this point that you see Lucid Dream move B. They should know at least two players are there. And you can see that they are starting to shift back from the tunnels. And 789 is going to push along. So, but Like I said, one more kill would be fine. Jason, how do you stop clothes? Go like, you know when the little balls start to develop? On your, uh, on your clothes? Yeah, like the little... That was the most awkward transition I've ever heard of topics. I don't know, I've just... I just Jason, did you ever get I those just... little balls? <laughs> no, you know you know when your clothes, whether you rub them, they're smooth, and then after you wash them a couple times? Yeah, like you little, use a, uh... a razor. A razor? Like a yeah. shaving razor? Yeah, and it, and it takes it all off. Right, okay. Thank you. That was just a random thought I had, and I thought, hey, they've got pistols, why not ask it? Maybe some people in chat will be helped by this. I mean, at least you could give a little bit more context before you just dive straight into Jason. Do you have those little balls? <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, I, I didn't mind if you gave an answer to a different question. So, Adinko, <laughs> if you want to take my place or uh, take Mitch's place here. I thought you were going to ask them about their little balls, but it's, it's okay. They use a razor on them as well, I, I presume. <laughs> so yeah, Tiger don't get any extra kills. It's uh <laughs> Jason, what are you, what are your thoughts on uh, on the comeback for Lucid? How do you, how do you feel like this one's going? <laughs> hey, it's Stinko and Blood. Hey. How you doing guys? Hi. I like how Blood's trying to talk, but he's me. Why are we here right now? He makes, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I was kind of like sitting here listening to Mitch go into madness. And then Dinko just but... muted himself when he was talking. <laughs> he <laughs> he <made sense>. Sense. <laughs> Thanks, Dinko. Appreciate that thought. Anyways. Well, that was a disaster. Let's, <laughs> let's not try that one again. <laughs> Ugh. I, love, I would love if they gave commentary of our commentary. You know? <laughs> These well, well Dinko, Mitch went to the little ball subject, and I don't know how I feel about that. Let's we'll see how it plays out in the long run, as Jason seems clearly uncomfortable with what's being discussed. <laughs> so double up set up here for Tiger, 9 and Cabal. Up against the op out of PTC. I mean, we've, we've been joking and, and all that, but I mean, Lucid Dream have been grinding these rounds mm -hmm. out, right? They, they've been able to take four out of the last, actually five out of the last six rounds. So we really can't count them out here. We could have, again, another close match. It was uh, 13 to two in favor of Tiger. So not a lot of mistakes can be made <clears throat> for Lucid Dream, but with this double op commitment, it seems like Tiger want to make their stand. I want to see where the where the approach, where the depth is of Lucid Dream now that they're up against the full buy. This is and now that they've got their own as well. The spray from NCL. How does he get so much? How does he get away with two? There, Cabal on a wall bang elsewhere, going back out for more. They're not even checking him. He's got free reign. Luckily, that flashbang came over. It might even have been a oh NCL. Oh, that's the new doors, bro. That's not how we do it. Well, Urkas is just being team killed. NCL's 1 HP. This could fall apart very, very quickly. The flash over, the push through. PTC is able to grab one before that flash. It didn't even blind him in the end, but before it even popped. And this is getting a little bit awkward now for Tiger coming through. Luckily, PTC caught looking the other way. And nine from afar picks up yet another. 15 for Tiger on the board. But uh, 
I, say, I, I mean, it wasn't so much an, an impressive hold from Lucid Dream or, or even round in general. <laughs> Tiger came close to throwing that one away. Shot by Cabal. Again, NCL you talked about before. Gets the spray down here. Even the team kill, unfortunately. <laughs> Onto Air Cast. Yes, he almost kills himself, too. He actually was on 1 HP. That would have been great if it was a double team nade. Would Maybe it been, not though? great for Tiger, but yeah. <laughs> it would have been funny. See, at these kind of situations, I always struggle. When it's like 14-2, 14-3, it just feels so impossible, so insurmountable for their opponents to actually make that much of a comeback. Nothing to do with it even being Lucid Dream. I, you could put the best team in the world versus a bunch of MGs, and I would say, well, maybe, you know, <laughs> they randomly hit all their op shots at some point. Well, I like that smoke, too. If you were in tunnels, you'd be like, all right, well, they're clearly not going to push. As we can see, Cabal will be doing just that, which will alleviate NCL, so we can actually rotate her out of here, most likely. Especially the flashbangs being thrown towards short. Aircast going to be here to peek in with that flash. One, two, and he gets away. And he still has 73 health. That's, that's not what Lucid Dream need in this round. At least they still have the bomb, but they're losing players left and right. I don't know how Lucid Dream come back here. I mean, at least they have Mirage to come up next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we can see things change uh, counterintuitively between those two maps. The smoke hasn't popped just yet. Don't peek that. Okay, there they go. Going across nine has to back off from that angle. You see the benefit of that smoke. It, as I was saying earlier, it just stops anybody on car from actually getting any damage done on the cross. They have to fall back even because you've got a decent angle to peek them from. That's going to spread to Urcast. I'm pretty sure it hasn't just yet. There we go. Eventually ticks him away and he's on 17 health. He thought he was in the clear. He absolutely wasn't. Still, though, the kills go their way. And PTC, he lost his mouse one. He let go of it. And that's 16 to 7 as Tiger take the map in a very one-sided fashion. This is the first game I think we've come in and actually seen the 